so far you have seen how to create repository in azure devops and also we have seen how to push playwright test automation framework into the azure devops repository now let's see how to create azure devops pipeline and also we will see how to run the azure devops pipeline so here i will navigate to the edio on the left side you will be finding one section called pipelines simply click on pipelines and here you can click on create pipeline and here you need to choose the very first option so azure azure repos git and after that here you need to choose the repository so this this particular repository just now we have created so simply you need to choose that repository and here you need to scroll down so here we can create the fresh ml file or we can use the already created ml file so in our case we will create the new ml file so far we have not added the ml file to the our repository so simply i will click on the starter pipeline so it it gives us the some sample ml file so i don't want all this ml content simply i will delete this so here you can go to the google.com and search for backup and github and you can go to the very first link test test talk backup and and in this github page you can go to the repositories and here search for the playwright azure devops and here you will find the one repository called playwright azure devops pipeline so simply click on that repo so if you scroll down you will find the ml content here so all the steps are listed here guys no need to worry about the steps so we have clicked on the starter pipeline and simply we have to copy this particular ml content so let's copy the ml content and paste it here so that's it so here in the line number 2 simply i will pass the value as none so now i don't want to trigger the this pipeline automatically so that's the reason i'm passing the value as none that's it guys so simply i will click on save and run and here you can add the commit message and here you can click on the save and run that's it and here you can click on the job so it lists down all the tasks so let me give you a bit of overview what exactly we are running in this particular test means in this execution so we have total six automation test out of them two are ui test and four are api tests and out of six automation test two will be getting failed so that you will be observing after running the playwright automation test so basically our build will be failed so that is the expected failure so you might be observing in couple of seconds so currently it is trying to install the browsers if you see on the right side it is trying to install the chromium browser firefox browser and also it is trying to install webkit browser as well and right now it is running all our playwright test and if you see on the right side so these are the api automation test so it will take couple of seconds to finish the execution so that's it guys so as i said so our build will be build will be failing and if you see here if i click on run playwright tests so if i scroll down here so here you can see that we have two failed test and four passed test and under the failed test google test 2 is getting failed and api test 4 is getting failed so what i will do this time simply i will go to the repository and simply i will comment those two automation test so here i'll say comment for the google test 2 that's it and now we have to comment out the google test sorry api test 4 
so that's it so simply i will commit the changes that's it now i will go back to the again pipelines and i will select the pipeline and simply i will click on the run pipeline so make sure you are selecting the appropriate branch here so click on run so it will start executing the all the playwright test so right now it has installed the node.js and it is checking the npm and it is installing all the browsers right now so it will take basically a few seconds to install all the browsers so if you see on the right side you will be seeing all the logs what is happening in the vm so once the browser installation is done so it will try to execute the playwright tests and after that it will finish the build execution so right now it is installing the chromium driver and then firefox then webkit browser so it is done with installing all the required browsers right now it is running all the playwright automation test so this time our build will be successful because we have commented out the failing tests so it will take few more seconds and it will finish the execution and if you see here so we are done with executing all the tests and if i scroll down so all the four tests are getting passed and also here you can see that our build is successful if i go back to the pipeline and here also you can see that our build is successful so this is how we can create the pipeline and this is how you can run the pipeline as well now i will discuss how to auto trigger the pipeline based on the pr merge so here i will go to the ado and i will click on the edit button of the pipeline and here i have just now updated the master so previously it was none so here simply you need to pass the branch name if it is a main branch simply add the main branch and if you do not want to trigger the this particular build automatically simply you can pass the none here or if you want to execute this particular pipeline whenever any pr got merged so in that case simply you can pass the branch name so in our case we want to run the master branch whenever there is a some pr got merged into the master repository so after adding this trigger and followed by the branch name simply click on the so if say for example if i add none so i will get the save so i will save it so once again i will update the branch name as master and i'll save it this time that's it and i will go back to the pipeline and if you see here i have not triggered for the execution automatically build execution has started if i go to the job so it has started installing all the browsers and then next it will run the all the play, playwright automation test and then it will finish the execution so it will take few few more seconds to install the all the respective settings and also to install the all the browsers into the particular virtual machine so now it has started installing the chrome chromium browser firefox and webkit browser as well and now it is running the all the playwright automation test on the right side you can see the so here just we are printing the api response body from the application server 
so it will take few more seconds because it has the UI automation test as well. So that's it. So out of five tests, one is getting failed. So this is the expected failure and four are getting passed. Say for example, if I if I made any changes in this repository. So here I will go to the tests. So simply I'll click on edit and I will comment out the one test called Google test two. That's it. So simply I will commit this particular file. So now I will go back to the pipelines. So now we have made a changes. And if you see here, so automatically build got triggered for the execution. And if you see here, so it has executed the couple of tasks already. And right now it is setting up the environment. It is trying to install the all the browsers right now. So this is how we can set the auto trigger when any PRs are merged into the repository. And right now it is installing the Chromium browser and it has to install the respective browsers, whatever it is required for the Playwright automation test. And right now it is running the Playwright automation test. So it will take a couple more seconds and then it will finish the execution. So this time our build will be successful because all the four tests will get passed. And if I click on the run play right test task, and if I scroll down here, we can see that all the four automation tests are getting passed. And if I go back in this pipeline, so here also we can see that our build is successful.